Welcome to the 2018 Volkswagen Ballarat Cup preview. I'm joined by George Ferrugia to preview the race. And George, the Ballarat Cup, always a really good race. And there's been some star greyhounds in years gone by, the likes of Aston DB, Luca Navalk, uh, Zambora Brocky. It's a race for the good dogs. Yeah, it is. Uh, you don't fluke winning in a Ballarat Cup. And uh, as we've seen last year, Aston DB was outstanding, defeating a really, really good field. Mm. And uh, the Thompson family hoping to go back to back this year. You get the feeling it's always a really strong race. I think because of the distance as well as anything. 450 metres, you get the hardcore sprinters that step up and you also get the five, 600 metre greyhounds at times that'll come back and have a go as well. Yeah, and this race uh, is no different this year. You've got some greyhounds who are going to sit back and then power home and other greyhounds who record some unbelievable yeah. splits. And, and where uh, that uh, goes on the first corner, we'll, we'll see because it's, it's going to be a really, really tough run up, I reckon, to that first yeah. mark. I think this is a really quality field in the sense we've got a few, three or four really fast beginners. You've got the likes of Shadale and Aston Cometo, who was just brilliant. We'll take a look at the box draw, but just quickly before we do, there has already been a scratching that has come through with GRV, George. Yeah, Spring Bridge, unfortunately, has hurt a hock and will miss the Ballarat Cup. He'll be replaced by Rixie Pest, who will wear the number nine rug and will start from box seven at this stage, yeah. pending no more scratchings. Spot on, George. Well, let's take a look at the uh, box draw now for the Volkswagen Ballarat Cup. Into box one, it's Belt Up Bubs. He's currently at 3.30. The old boy, Shadale, of course, he, he, he damaged a back muscle quite bad so it's been a really good effort just to get him back he's $17 Aston Cometo 350 the speed runners in the in the race four five and six they're eleven dollars six dollars and seven dollars uh, we then go down to Dinah Patty at five and now the reserves which might just come into play a bit George 21 for Rixie your pest uh, his box will more than most likely be seven given there's no more scratchings and Shan Giro uh, number 10 at 31 and of course Springbridge already withdrawn well where do we start? It's, it's an entertaining race. I think there's a lot of speed in the race. I, I feel the run of fully loaded, as we see now, George, was really impressive. Set the, the benchmark for the section, 6.41 early, 11.15 off the back, went 24.96. was just an impressive display of speed and, and seemed to find the line really well. But you go to the other side of the spectrum and take a look at Aston Cometo. 13.30s, they're about on the way home. It's just unheard of. Yeah, look, I mean, they don't clock that run home time too often. I think the official clock uh, run home time was was uh, 13.69 and I reckon I had yeah. him about five and a half, yeah. six lengths off yeah. the leader at that stage. And he, and he got a little prat right at that point as well, just yeah. before the mark, so it was an enormous run home. He's just such an incredible greyhound. Again, there's always that uh, query now is where he's going to be sitting on that first corner and will he be able to run down greyhounds who can run low 25s and yeah. possibly break it on Saturday. He's still pretty much unbeaten on one turn tracks, isn't he? he he's just an <laughs> incredible chaser. Always finds a way. He's really, really track smart, I reckon, yeah, he too. Is. And he's shown that again in his heat. There was a chance where he could get into trouble and he was just able to weave his way through and that run home time as we said they just don't run home that quick yeah and you like the way Dinah Patty went about her business as well Look, I've always been a big fan of Dinah Patty. I think she's a real confidence greyhound and I reckon she would have derived so much of that from her win. She pinged to the front, gave nothing else a chance, ran low 25 seconds. Mm. And I just think if you have a look at her form, she's able to string wins together yeah. uh, and the whips are going to be cracking early and I just think she's in a position to uh, really uh, give them some curry, I reckon, from can, where she's drawn. Can she get across that speed, though, in four, five and six? Well, she might be able to just sort of lob outside yeah. of them and then... Uh, in that run to the line. I, that's where I think I'm, I'm confident with Dinah Paddy. I, I think she can go low five yeah. seconds early and it is a bigger run up in that first corner to Ballarat and clearly she doesn't have fully loaded speed and, and these type of greyhounds. She's so only half a length off them roughly in that, the heat. That's right and, yeah. and we know that she's got a better last section than she those does. greyhounds so that's uh, that's the my thinking on how the race is going to pan well, out. It seems George you're pretty keen on Dinah Paddy so let the viewers know who you're selecting for the Ballarat Cup this year. Yeah look my numbers are 8, 1, 3 and 5. I've gone Dinah Paddy on top. As I said look her last win did come in the maturity and she had a run of outs and yeah. we hadn't seen the best of her but I'd expect she's going to have a really good couple of months mm. now uh, starting on uh, Saturday night at Ballarat to beat number one belt up bubs I just think he's drawn really well with a couple of slow beginners on his inside I know he probably doesn't have the speed of the four and the five mm. but he did go 654 early which certainly yeah. is okay so he can accelerate this greyhound number three Aston Cometo as I said an extraordinary run home time for a greyhound who just walks out of a box really yeah. every time 
time uh, and just needs a little bit of luck. And number five, fully loaded. I mean, it, it, find it very hard to leave a greyhound who ran those splits and broke 25 yeah. seconds overall. Fastest, so, yeah. yeah, so eight, one, three, and five. My numbers, yours? Yeah, look, I'm going to leave Dinah Patty out. I think she's a good chance. I think it's a really tough Ballarat Cup. When I had a look at the market initially, I actually thought Belt Up Bubs might have been the way to go, but I thought he'd probably open up the seven or eight dollar mark just based on the time he ran. He's opened up at 3.30. I think that's just a, a little bit too skinny. So I've settled on five, one, three, and six. I'm going with the five on top, fully loaded. The way I saw the race for fully loaded, I think for him to win, he's got to begin well, cross speed star, hold the pressure of Dinah Hunter, and let those two hold the rest of the field behind. If he can do that, find the lead, he can break 25. I think he's the one to catch. I think $6 looks a, a pretty nice each way play. I think Belt Up Bubs is the best drawn greyhound in the race. The two Shadale's going to, to push up the track. Aston Cometo's going to be clearly behind him. So he's going to get room. He's going to get the rail. I think he looks a genuine each way chance. I just think the price is a little skinny at this stage. The third I went the three Aston Cometo. He'll miss the kick, lob under Shadale, and Shadale will probably run a few runners off. So he is going to get a nice rails run at some point. And I've gone the six Diner Hunter for fourth. I just thought he was probably one of the stronger of the, the three leaders that I had on paper from the middle draws. But George, it's a, a really tough race. I think there's so many different ways you can look at it. It's, it's always a fantastic race. Yeah, it is. I mean, Diner Hunter's an interesting point for yours. I mean, he, he was going to start favouring the Geelong Cup before he was scratched. Yeah. I mean, he's got so much ability. He's just, this box draw, he's made it a little bit hard for him, I think, with so much speed drawn underneath him. Would it, he would have been better underneath the, the, the speed of Speed Star and also the fire fully loaded. Yeah, possibly. And uh, look, he's uh, he's just coming back uh, from a, a slight layoff, I suppose. And we, yeah. we didn't see him after that Geelong Cup injury for a little while. But look, he's a terrific greyhound. What a terrific race. Yeah, $20 spend. That's what it's all about. Get a red back and turn it into a, a green back. How do we do that? <laughs> I'm going for a little bit of a trifecta here, something yeah. different. We usually go for a win bet. But eight, one, three, and five, I'm just going to box my numbers up, uh, my top four selections in a try. Yeah, look, I'm just going to go at simple. I'll just go 10 each way, fully loaded. I think I think it looks a good price at $6 and could be the way to play. Anything else to add, George, for the big Ballarat Cup, the Volkswagen Ballarat Cup this year? No, look, uh, obviously the daily team going for three yeah. Ballarat Cups is a tremendous effort and the Thompsons have won a swag of them as yeah. well. So uh, whether someone else new can come on the block, uh, I'm not so sure. Yeah, Daly's the only uh, trainer with more than one runner in the race. It's $47,000 to the winner. Tune in on Saturday night for the running of the 2018 Volkswagen Ballarat Cup.